Okay, I want to pay a visit to... Pay a visit to this old barge here. There's a guy named Noah, and he, li and he lives in here. And apparently he knows how to get to the plateau. So, let's just head over there. And for those of you who played this game before, um, when you try to open the door to the barge, uh, Noah will actually try and kill you. He's got a shotgun, as well as a very dangerous mutant inside. So what I want to do is I'll try to uh, take him out from a distance, hopefully. See, there he is. Okay, I'm wondering what's uh, what's going on. Must be either mutants or zombies. Okay, uh, welcome back guys. Uh, this is Let's Play of Stalker, Call of Pripyat. And this is Fun Gaming Connoisseur with you. So we just came back from hunting the zombies. We killed Howdy. two of those. And so the first thing we want to do is... Actually what we'll do first is we'll unload... Unload the weapons. So these are the weapons that we got from uh, hunting the zombies, so I think what I'll do is I'll upgrade to a different different weapon, a different handgun. And I think I'll keep this one. Okay. So this guy here, he can repair damaged weapons and armor. And because I'll show you why you will need to use him to repair your what stuff. What are you? A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If not, take a hike. <laughs> yeah. He's not uh He's not not exactly the friendliest guy, but you know, he's the guy who can buy weapons and armor and, and likewise sell them to you. So we'll sell this gun. Oh actually, uh actually this this gun's actually better than these ones have better handling. So I think we'll sell this. Okay. Sell these two things first, and okay, so that's a PDF, PDA. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, we can sell that. And we'll keep that as well. So what we're doing now is we need to repair and sell things so we can get more rubles. So I think the first 
thing we'll repair is this. Yeah, that's way too expensive. And we're a little bit hungry. So we eat a bread. So now we have 303 ribbles. So let's go and see whether we can repair anything else. Nope. We're still a little bit short on... Oh, actually we can repair this. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit more rubles now. We now have close to 500. Yeah, as you can hear, there's uh, something happening outside. I think it's stalkers uh, trying to kill mutants or whatever else is threatening them. Okay. So we've got a Kevlar vest, and that's pretty expensive. Can't afford that yet. Okay. Repair this gun because it is pretty badly damaged. Okay. Okay, maybe we can keep that for now. Maybe we should buy more ammunition. Or we should buy more supplies. Okay, let's go back out. I want to pay a visit to pay a visit to this old barge here. There's a guy named Noah, and he li and he lives in here. And apparently, he knows how to get to 
the plateau. So let's just head over there. Once again, we'll take this cautiously because okay, let's just scan the horizon. It's a dead mutant. Is that a is that a zombie? Let's get a closer look. These are stalkers. Alright, maybe I will follow them because I think there is more uh, safety if I, if I, you know, try and tag along with them. As I mentioned, uh, with the Redux mod, everything's become more difficult. And you also realize that there is no targeting crosshair, and that's part of the mod. So. Start sneaking now. Okay. And one thing I just mentioned is, um, you know, I've had a look at more into the law and you know emissions are apparently they're not uh, they're not radioactive I don't think uh, from what I've read uh, it says that it's more psychic in, na in nature and uh, it's largely the the exact nature of it is unknown but it, it is more psychic in nature so just a little correction and one thing about this mod as well is that the modifications for weapons and armor has been disabled. So that is a little... Is that a zombie there? So it is a cloudy day. <laughs> they almost gave me a fright. I thought it was a monster, but so good thing I've got these two stalkers, uh, you know, sort of trailing behind me. Sort of makes things a little bit easier for me. Okay. So normally I would follow them, but you know, uh, on this occasion I want to head off to head onto this little barge here. And for those of you who played this game before, um, when you try to open the door to the barge, uh, Noel will actually try and kill you. He's got a shotgun, as well as a very dangerous mutant inside. So what I want to do is I'll try to. Uh, take him out from a distance hopefully see there he is 
So it doesn't matter how you know how you try to approach it, he's not going to you know Yeah, he's gonna he's, he'll basically try and kill you, so Okay. I'm not sure whether I can Yeah. Maybe I'll get closer. There we go. So we took him out. So now it's just the mutant dog. Actually, I think I might save uh, before you know I open the door. <laughs> So let's try and head back. And I think we might eat this. Okay, so we now need to get back to uh, Skadovsk. Let's hope we don't attract any attention from the mutants. Let's check my PDA. Okay, so it's a bit of a distance, but... <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere in this game is pretty... Um, pretty intense. You know, quite often you'll think that you're seeing something, but it turns out it's just nothing. So, and the music is pretty, uh, you know, intensifies that atmosphere. So where are we? Okay, we're not too far, but... One thing you should avoid is uh, running around in water because that will generate noise and will make you easier to spot, I mean easier to be detected by hostiles. Okay, So there it is, uh, Skadovsk, so let's make a run for it.
I'm listening. Hey, stalker. How are you? So, did you find anything out about Megpack? So, you got I anything new? But it's useless. Nobody knows a thing. It's like he's a poltergeist or something. That sunny bitch is What's going up? to regret running you away. You wanted or suffering from radiation sickness. Hang in there, buddy. The doc said you'll be up on your feet in a couple of days. You might as well use this time to rest up and chill. Hey, stalker! Come here! I got a question for you! Okay, so we just got a mission from Gonta. <laughs> so there is quite a number of side quests in this game. Um, so it is a quite an interesting place. Okay, so we just got the PDA from Noah. Let's just have a look at. So I don't think there's any of use, uh, any use for this PDA. So uh, you can actually sell, uh, sell this to Owl, and you can get some rubles for it. So you can sell his uh, Noah's PDA. Okay, so you can get one thousand rubles, and that's a valuable. Uh, trade because you will need the money to get yourself started. Okay. And we got his shotgun as well. Let's go and repair our stuff. Howdy. Uh, actually, we'll repair this first. Alright, so we managed to repair all our equipment. Yeah, I'm thinking of trading in... Just trade this one in. Okay. 
So we need a bit more ammunition. Okay, so I just want to get uh, get a bit more of that. Oh, that's pretty expensive. I think it's okay. Okay, so we got the 12 by 76 slug. Now I'm not very experienced with guns and ammunition, so just bear with me. I just, you know, there's, um, you know, I am trying to learn, you know, the different types of guns and ammunition and their advantages and disadvantages. Okay. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but uh, per round I think it's not too bad. Yep. So yeah, I'm thinking of getting the thinking of getting this one. So I just load my guns. Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome this shotgun. It has eight rounds. And it's night time now, so <laughs> so everyone's inside. Welcome aboard our swamp icebreaker. <laughs> hmm. Something going on outside. Drop in if something interesting hey, bro. comes up. Skadovsk won't be going anywhere, that's for sure. Okay, I'm wondering what's uh, what's going on. Must be either mutants or zombies.
Yeah. It is uh, mutants, I believe. So we just uh, picked up another, looted from another dead stalker. So with that, I think we'll head back and try and sell that, sell the loot. And someone else has come out. It's just the stalker. I'm listening. Hello. Well, good luck to you. Okay, so we just picked up another identical shotgun and we might save those ammunition for later, but first let's just sell that shotgun. Awesome, 678. What are you? A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If not, take a hike. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Supposed to press sell first. And so that's how you make more rubles by selling and repairing and yeah, rinse and repeat It's always a good idea to unload the guns before you sell it so that you can have more ammunition for yourself. That's pretty cheap.
Слышите, а вы мне что, колеса заменили, да? Ну, очки поправили. Не расходиться! Ждем! Все, мужики, отбой! Препарат был заменен. Отталкер, как это? Я когда раньше таблетки мужа выкидывал, они тонули. А сейчас вдруг плавать начали. Окей, so I've run out of ammunition again. So... Actually, maybe I'll just get a different type of ammunition. Yeah, I think these ones will do better because I kind of like the ones that you pick up most often. And also, by the way, there is a personal storage box. So I think I'll put these in here. Okay, so, uh, so I think this is where I'll leave it, so uh, thank you for joining me and hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you could please hit the like button and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the section below. Please do subscribe to my channel and also share this video. So thank you for watching, this is Fine Gaming Connoisseur and I'll see you next time. Take care.